In this video, we're going to create this wheel. Uh, in looking at my drawing, I can see that it has an outside diameter of one inch and a hole in the center that is quarter or 0.25. Now, to create this, we're going to use a revolve. So I will create uh, one upper section view of the wheel and use the center line to revolve that. So that uh, has a diameter of 0.375 is the actual rounded end and the distance between the top and bottom circles is 0.625 and a center hub is 0.45. I'll start a new part studio in inches I'll start a sketch and put this on the front sketch plane, right click and choose view normal to sketch plane. I'm going to start by creating a center line. So I'll use my line tool, choose construction and create a center line going through the origin. Next, I'm going to create a circle. I'll use a center point circle. I want this to be projected above the origin and I will click and set this diameter at 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to use my dimension tool and dimension the center of this circle and click on this center line which will give me a total distance. Uh, when I use the dimension it will be 0.625 to set the distance between the two centers of the upper and lower circle. Next I'm going to draw a corner rectangle and I'm going to draw this rectangle so it's kind of a little bit larger than the circle. Right click and end the rectangle command and now use my dimension tool. Now the, the bottom edge of this rectangle to the center line, click on that this makes the size of the center hole, which is 0.25. And then from the top edge of this rectangle to the center line, and I pull down below, I can set the overall height. This is for that uh, hub area. This is 0.45. Now the width of the hub is actually the same as the circle. So I'm going to use a tangent and set the edge of this rectangle tangent to the circle, this edge of the rectangle tangent to the circle. And with that, uh, it's fully constrained. I'm going to accept that. So I'll use P on the keyboard to turn off my sketch planes. I'm going to right click and choose isometric for my view. Uh, I'll use my revolve feature and I want to choose this profile. So I'm just going to use a window to choose that profile and I need to have a revolve axis. So my center line, I'll click on that and choose my center line as my revolve axis. And I can see that that profile is then revolved around that center line. I'll accept this and I can see that I've created my wheel.